Hi, this is Sridhar. I am continuing with the awk script in Unix shell scripting. In awk, now we are going, we will be discussing about the begin and end syntax used in the awk command. The basically syntax will be, will differ slightly. Awk followed by the options. Options here we can give uh, the delimiter value, that is the field separator value hyphen f within double quotes the pipeline symbol the options and followed by the within single quotes everything should come within single quotes only one single quotes open and close within that single quotes you will be having begin processing and end begin followed by the actions what actions you have to do in the begin part and close the curly brace and this action will execute for the begin statement and followed by the processing statements separately it will process for all the lines present in the given input file and finally the end end followed by the actions so what action you have to do at the in the end part in the end syntax for the given input file so begin and end actions that is this one and this begin and end actions will be executed only once begin and end actions will be executed only once and this processing statements will be executed for all the lines present in the given input file or for all the iterations so normally this begin will be used to if you want to print any heading or a caption if you want to print a heading normally we will use this begin begin the employee details within double quotes you can give employee details employee details of this department like that you can give the print statement or a heading like statement or if you want to initialize a variable you can give it in the begin action inside this begin action if you want to initialize a variable or if you want to print a value that is heading like value if you want to print it then you can give those statements in the begin action and the processing statements same like that it will be it will execute for all the records for all the lines present in the given input file and the next one is the end action end action this one also it will execute for only once begin and end actions will be execute only once and end actions normally it will print the value of the variable which is computed from the processing statement in the processing statement we will be doing some arithmetic manipulation and finally it will return the result and the final output of this variable will be printed in the end action and in the end action it will print the output of the variable after completing the manipulation in the processing statements after completing the processing after completing the iterations in the processing statements it will print the output of the variable in the end action so these are the things we will do in begin and end in awk command. We will execute some sample programs. If you want to print the total number of lines in a file, if you want to print the total number of lines in a file, normally you will use wc-l followed by the file name. It will give the total number of lines present in the file. In awk also, without using wc-l, we can use it using awk command. let me execute let me explain one by one for this syntax awk hyphen f pipeline is a given del delimiter begin delimiter means it's a delimiter used in the given input file emp underscore s dot txt begin we are initializing this variable count equals zero because we are counting the total number of lines present in the given input file emp underscore s yes. in emp underscore s yes, we are counting the total number of lines present in the given input file so we are initializing the variable of count equals zero we are initializing the variable of count equals zero so this begin action what is the begin action begin action is within curly brace count equals zero is the begin action so it will execute for only one time it will execute only one time and followed by the processing statement what is the processing statement within curly brace count plus plus how many times it will execute the processing statement will execute for all the lines present in the given input file how many lines are there totally there are seven number of lines in the given input file so this count plus plus will execute for seven times so first time it will be zero 
count plus plus means it will be incremented to 1 so count value is 1 it will execute for all the lines so for the second line again it will execute for the second line the count value will be 2 like that for the seventh line the count value will be 7 so count value equals 7 after processing this processing statement after completing this processing statement count value will become 7 followed by the end end statement within curly brace also execute for only once normally end statement will be used for printing the result final value of the variable which is computed in the processing statement what is the variable which we computed or manipulated in the processing statement we computed the count value in the processing statement so we are just printing the result of count in the end action in the end action just we are printing the result print total number of lines equals count so here the count value is the final value manipulated or computed in the processing part and then closing the curly brace that is the end action closing the end action for the given input file now the total number of lines printed is 7 you can also change this program in such a way you know that no need to declare the variable count equals 0 because in awk no need to declare the variable and no need to initialize if you are not initialize the variable then the value will be 0 or null so why should we give this count equals 0 in the begin part remove that you can also give it in this way we didn't give begin count equals 0 because count normally if you didn't initialize the variable the value of the variable is null or 0 so we didn't initialize the variable in the begin part so just directly if there is no begin part means it doesn't have the begin action so the immediate curly brace is the processing part there is no begin part only the processing part followed by the end action followed by the end action part even the, we will be getting the same result total number of lines equals 7 in another way also you can execute it you can remove the iphone f option iphone f equals pipeline you can remove that and you can initialize this this inbuilt variable that is field separator variable using fs fs is an inbuilt variable available in our command fs is a field separator equals what is the field separator pipeline and these two assignment statements are separated by semicolon symbol so field separator equals pipeline count equals zero this is a begin this is a this will be executed for only one time and we have enclosed in the begin action part in the begin action part the field separator is pipeline and count equals zero so we have removed the if and f pipeline optional everything remains same we are getting the same result so in all the way we can get the same result next we are going to see we have given some bonus percentage and finding the bonus value for all the employees yes for all the employees we didn't give any selection criteria for all the employees we are we want to calculate the bonus value it the bonus value is based upon the salary in this case how you will get it we are given the bonus percent what is the bonus percent so this is a one time value it it's common it is same for all the records for all the lines present in the given input so awk if and f the pipeline is a delimiter begin begin what is the action what is the variable we have to initialize here we have to initialize the variable and this is a one time execution bonus percent equals 0.25 bonus percent is 0.25 so the bonus amount will be calculated based upon the salary salary multiplied by the bonus percentage equals the bonus value and we will be displaying the bonus value in the output so this is the initialization initialization part which will come in the begin section begin action begin action is over this is the begin action part and the next one is the processing part so we have to process the bonus amount we have to calculate the bonus amount for all the records present in the given input file so what we will be doing bonus equals bonus is a variable which equals dollar phi what is dollar phi dollar phi is 5000 that is salary dollar phi multiplied by the bonus percentage 
bonus equals dollar five is a salary amount multiplied by the bonus percent bonus percent which we initialize in the begin action which is 0.25 so we are multiplying salary into bonus percent and assigning that value to bonus and then we are printing the entire line pipeline with the bonus what is the bonus variable bonus variable we have computed here so the same value present in this bonus variable will be printed out here so it will execute for all the lines present in the given input file it is in the processing part and there is no end section here there is a begin section but there is no end part so closing the single quotes for the given input file you got the result after the date field we have computed the bonus amount by multiplying the salary 5000 multiplied by bonus percentage which is 0.25 5000 into 0.25 which is 1250 and appended the result to the entire line print dollar zero dollar zero pipeline with bonus variable and we are doing this processing the statement for all the records present in the given input file and we got the result next one is we want to count the number of employees in the technology department technology department how many employees are there 1 2 3 and 4 4 employees are there in the technology department so for this we are using the awk command let me explain awk begin within curly brace we are mentioning the field separator field separator is pipeline symbol and there are more if there are more than one assignment statement then we have to separate using semicolon semicolon count equals zero we can replace as i said earlier we can replace it by awk if and f within double quotes pipeline symbol and no need to give the count initialization if you didn't give if you didn't initialize the variable then it will be zero or null in either way you can write it here we have initialized the variable of fs equals pipeline and count equals zero this is a begin action part begin action part is over completed and next comes the processing statement what is the processing statement dollar four that is the fourth column fourth column is technology fourth column is technology then what you have to do if dollar four equals zero then within curly brace you have to increment the value of count initially the value of count is zero now i am incrementing the value of count to one if the dollar four equals technology then increment the value of count by one and this is a processing statement this is the processing statement this processing statement will execute for all the records present in the given input file once it completes all the records all the lines present in the input file the count will be having the final value and we have to print this final value in the end section normally the end section will be used for printing the final value which we have computed in the processing statement so end within curly brace we are giving print number of employees in this technology department is equals count comma count count is a final value which we have computed in the processing part Th that one we are displaying in the end action part for the given input file number of employees is four there are four employees belongs to the technology department the next one it is also same exactly same but we are using a different file where we have space same example begin We are mentioning the field separator equals pipeline that is a delimiter and count equals zero initializing the variable begin part over next comes the processing part processing part dollar four that is fourth column contains or like technology it may be having spaces also so after to the technology it may be having spaces if it contains space then it will consider that one also dollar four tilde means even if it contains space it will check for that field one field value also dollar four tiled technology count plus plus 
so this is the action that is this is a processing statement this processing statement will execute for all the records present in the given input file and once it completes all the records the count plus plus will be having the the count variable will be having the final value that final value will be displayed in the end part print number of employees equals count both are same except we are changing the file name here also we are getting the result number of employees equals 4 the last one print the average salary of the employees in technology department here is it is somewhat different org iphone f within double quotes pipeline so we didn't give the begin statement we have initialized the pipeline as a delimiter using the options if and f and next comes the processing statement we didn't give the begin statement so the first one will be the processing statement dollar four equals technology if dollar four the fourth column is technology then what we have to do we have to increment the count value how many technology how many employees belongs to technology department so we have to increment the count value and also we have to we have to sum the salary also because we have to compute the average salary of the technology department average salary of the employees who belongs to technology department so we have to sum all the salaries of the technology department so for that we have give, i am giving tot plus equals dollar five what is the value of tot total initially initially it is not declared so the value will be zero so tot equals total plus dollar five what is dollar five dollar five is the in salary value so this statement will be executed for all the records present in the given input file first for the first record technology this one it is 5500 so count will be incremented by one and total will be summed to 5500 next it will be added the salary value will be added to this and again the sum of this salary will be added to 6000 5500 7000 6000 plus 8000 so all the value will be summed together and the value will be saved to tot variable and count will be incremented by one so finally it will be having the count value as four because four employees belongs to technology department how we that's all the processing statement is over so how will you find the end value sorry how will you find the average salary so average salary is calculated by sum of all the salaries divided by the total number of employees so in the end part we will be printing the result print average salary is tot divided by count what is tot total is the sum of all salary salaries which we have computed in the processing part sum of all salaries which we have calculated in the processing part and count is total number of employees which we have calculated in the processing part so this we are dividing to get the average salary the end part is displayed at the last this is the end part average salary is tot divided by count total summing all the values and then divided by 4 we got the result as 6625 this is the average salary so all these statements are printed why all these statements are printed because we have given the print command in the processing statements print count and the selected columns 2 3 4 and 5th column that's why we are printing the output in this way and finally we are printing the average salary in the end section tot and count are the va values computed in the processing statement those values are used in the end section to find the average salary that's all uh, in begin and end section using op next we will be discussing about the functions inbuilt functions used in op com command in the next class next session thank you bye